not bad for the first time. At least he knows his job. What was your impression? Okay, okay. It's a typical quarterback. Typical quarterback was <laughs> no, no. Um, it's a very elastic horse. Um, he did his job. The only thing I would like you to have him a little more through the pole. This is his biggest problem at the moment. <laughs> yeah, so then solve the problem. No, um, uh, maybe you can do a Justin Cantor work. Everything was supple, expressive. Um, the passage sometimes need a little more cadence, the piaf still traveling. In the half past right, I lost the push to the bridle. Half past left was better. The half past left definitely was better, yeah. yeah. But um, everything, the whole canter work, he does everything, but should be a little more through. Can we try to do, just a normal canter, try to get him a little more through. Because I think this is effective also uh, for all you do, the suppleness of the... Try to... Not to shorten him, but yeah, let him, let him, yeah. Ask him, address the problem. You can solve it, but you have to address it. Just a normal canter. You can drop the pole, if, uh, the, the, the whip, if you want to. Give me the Gerke. Lass es fallen. Yeah, 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 back. Then you have, you can, you can concentrate a little more on the suppleness of the pole. That's in the whole category. Yeah. Keep him like this. He doesn't have the longest neck. That's what I mean. Also, many quarterbacks don't have it, but he must be a little more true. Yeah, and, and force him to be there, not, not with force, but insist him on being there. It's easier if you have him a little rounder and flex him, flex him between the ears. But that is much better. That's, yeah, and he keeps the quality of the canter. Flex him to the inside and flex him to the outside, but between the ears. Yeah, and, and ask him to stay there, not, not force with hands, but with the consequence of staying. Yeah, and if you do, now you do something, um, keep him straight through the ears, and now you do some canter movements, maybe the changes in this, in this um, position of the neck. because the changes are wonderful, but when they are not, keep him like this. Yeah, that looks good. And then you do the, the whatever changes. Yeah, and, and insist on, on him being true. Keep, yes, looks much nicer. Insist on him not going higher with this. Okay, and now you do something, not the zigzags, but just a half pass, something, some movements or sort of movements where he must consequently remain in this position. Yeah. 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 And he's so, he's, so and he's, so, he's so soft and flexible in his way of moving. And play again. Play with his, yeah, 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 yeah. Address the problem. Address it. Don't let him, don't let him cheat. And again, shorten him, shorten him. Don't let him not help him. Not too much, too, not too long. Counter canter. Okay, and, and collect him a little more. Just he is soft and he's willing to carry. Just collect him that you can ride him without reins. And don't let him not the head. Don't keep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And keep him that he force him to carry. Yeah, that's good. That's good, Robert. That he stays on his hind legs and gets free and yeah, super. That is good. And, say, and a little more forward again and then back again. He has is he strong enough? Stay on the circle. Stay on the circle and really ask him to go. Yeah, that's much better. You must make him sit. He's not a long horse, he's a short horse, but a short horse that can carry. And if he's a little unhappy, then be consequent and ask him to take weight and keep his head steady. Yeah, very good, very good. And now you come somewhere on the diagonal and do a pirouette, a full pirouette, like in the inter, a, uh, inter one. Come to me, that I can see, and collect him, straight, good, very straight, and try to keep his head, his head in a, yeah, 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 yeah. 
Yeah. Raise him much better, you feel? And again, if he wants to nod, don't allow him. Consequently address, yeah, that's good. That's good, super. And keep him small, short, good, 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 super. Praise him and give him a short break. That was much better, didn't you think so? It was much better. Okay, no, because the horse has everything. The trot, everything is there. Yeah, super good. Keep him, keep him, collect him, collect him out of your seat. Not too much leg, just make him sit, make him sit. He can bend the haunches, he only has to balance it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just concentrate on him being steady with the contact. Good, good, good. Now the mouth is good, very good. This is what you have to, and right transitions a little forward, a little backwards, that he learns to keep himself and balance him without balancing with the head. Keep him steady. You can, you can uh, uh, help him with your reins. Just keep him steady, true and steady. Don't throw away the reins. Keep them in a soft contact which helps him. Help him. Uphill, uphill, through the pole. You should address a little more. Address the pole. Address. Yeah, 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 no, it made click. Schultenbaumer always said to, to Isabel, it must do click in the pole. Now he made, did, he, did you feel it? He did the click. Yeah, now the pole, very good, now the pole is the highest point and he's still through, yeah, super, super, super. And now he's dead, don't let him, don't let him. Come with your leg if he wants, but give him a short break because it's, it's tiring for him. He did the test and Give him a walk. Let him walk for a moment. Short break. <laughs> no, no, short break. Um, but you understand? This is people so. Huh? Yeah. He can do it. And the only thing is, the neck is not too long. It's long enough, but not too long. So he, if he doesn't, if he wants to escape, he does it like this. And it's easy to keep him because he has wonderful hind legs he can carry. So do the same in chalk now. You really address the problem and don't compromise. You are not hard with your hands anyway, you are soft. But if he wants to escape, be the one who is giving the direction. Also in walk, keep him through, highest point, and don't allow him, don't allow him to... Yeah, keep him through and do it in trot. Keep it, yes, keep him through, the, yeah, keep him through the pole. Trot, and trot now. Keep him there, keep him there, through the pole. A little more, a little more, uphill but a little shorter in the, yeah, come. Don't let him cheat. Through the pole, through the pole, a little more through the pole. Yeah, like this. Give, help him with your hands, keep a steady connection. And now you do a half pass. Yeah, 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 good. Half pass where he cannot escape. Let him bend, you have long legs. Yeah, 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 good. And ride a little more forward in the, once you have found the bend, forward. And now get him back again. Always change a little bit of change of tempo and through the pole. You really give him, give him the straight the steadiness of the contact with your steady reins. Yeah, 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 let him go again. Half pass to the other side once more. Okay, now we're right forward. It's nice crossing. It's a very supple horse. Very nice like this. Very nice. And again, straighten him and get him collected again. Through the pole, you only have to think, yeah, 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 exactly. You're the boss. Exactly, well solved. Now you do a passage, come to passage. Oh, you can also do the half pass. Very nice crossing, super nice. And when you're straight, good. And through the pole, sit back and keep him collected through the pole, make him carry. Yeah, and more cadence, more cadence, go on, go on. First the passage, more cadence, he can do more. Sit back, 
sit back, sit back, that he doesn't sway. And through the pole. Come. And forward and trot. Forward and trot. But through the pole. Don't give him. Don't let allow him to. Yeah, and now back to passage. Yeah, and now back to passage. Out of your seat. Passage. Through both reins. Through the ears. Yes. Come. Push, push, push. Yeah. Okay. And change rein. Change rein. And, and trot again and again through the pole. Don't, don't, don't rush him. Soft, soft. Yeah, 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 yeah. Address the problem. You are the winner in a soft way. Good, good, good. Now he's good in the neck. Keep him there. Good. And now you do passage again. Oh, only concentrate on the cadence. Good, good. Sit, sit, sit. More cadence. More, he can do it. More cadence. And Piaf somewhere. On the track, wherever you think. Keep him, keep him, keep him, keep him, keep him, keep him. That's nice to start. It's still a little traveling and trot out. Still a little traveling, but the rhythm was good. Yeah? Yeah? Good, good. Now the cadence is there. Good. Keep him through the pole, through the pole. Don't allow him. Good, good, good. It's good, it's good, it's good. And out. And praise him, yeah. Yeah. It's well done. And maybe you take a little more of a snaffle, but don't allow him to escape with his... This is good, this is good, this is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, the trot. And once more, just, once more, just transition. He must learn to accept this. Yeah, 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 sit, 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 sit. And again forward? He must, a lot of transitions, not too much, not chasing him forward. Yeah. Yeah, and push forward a little bit out of your seat. Now he's more steady. Now he's more. He must learn to accept this pole position. Now a little more and piaf. Come into the piaf somehow. Yeah, 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 yeah. And out, and out, and out. Don't let him come with your. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, you cannot change it from one moment to the other, but keep him straight, keep him straight, and flex him to the left. He's escaping. Flex him to the left. I want to see him straight. Good, good. It's getting better, it's getting better. And out again. Uphill, out. Not too long. He's getting tired a little now. I think I would let him stretch down for a moment. And flex him, let him stretch down. That is what he likes anyway, I think. Yeah, good. Good. Give him, give him a break. He's already sweating. But it is a totally subtle horse. The only thing is he needs to be a little more through in the pole. Good. Give him a short walk, break. Let him stretch long. Maybe to finish, because he has done a lot, maybe to finish one last canter, s slowly, not, don't hurry the walk, give him time. Let him supple, supple, and yeah, let him really walk in a slowly, nicely friendly way. Maybe just to finish, let him one small canter, um, and just to give him the feeling where he has to be through. What is your opinion? You feel he's better? He must accept this. Mach noch einmal einen Abschlussgalopp, ja? Ja, ja, klar. Das ist ja der Quarterback. Aber noch einmal for the last moment to get him steady and through. Shorten the reins a little bit, not, not, just make him sit, make him sit. I think the, the, yeah, good. I think the key to his 
Paul is in the collection and the key is very good like this. That, very good. The key is the collected canter and you keep him collected. Keep him collected. If he's carrying, he can do his job without being dependent, depending uh, on the pole. Keep him uphill, keep him collected through the pole. That you don't have to work. That you don't have to work. Very good. And a, a little more through. Again, not, not a little more through. Yeah, that's, that's exactly, yeah. And not, don't let him nod. Don't let him nod with the head. Don't let him move the head up and down. But through the ears. Always think through the ears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Push him. Push him through the ears. Push him. Push him through. Exactly. You're the boss. Because he can really carry. Through the ears. And, it, and give him the steadiness of the contact. Help him a little bit with the reins. That he keeps keep him steady. And you are quicker than him in thinking. Yes? Yes? Before he starts nodding, you keep him up. Yeah, 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 keep him there. Keep him there. Very good, Robert, very good. That is important. And now it's enough for him. He's already sweating. Let him go down, yeah. He's very supple. He can stretch down immediately. He only has to learn to stay up and not, and keep the balance. Yeah. Is it a girl? Oh. <laughs> Oh, I don't look. <laughs> so she will fight for you. Okay, any questions from your side? Pardon? Uh, yeah, that, that he doesn't let him go up, her up and down. Oh, fr half halts. Half halts. The, the question was how to address the the suppleness of, I think, permanently half holds that it is flexible. Uh, no, he should prevent, she should not let him not. But help a little bit with the inside rein, keep him stable, keep her stable. No, like this, half holds. And when she starts nodding, maybe thinking of giving her a break. It can be a loss of energy but um, help stabilize and he must be quicker before she starts nodding he must stabilize it oh, i would deduct half of it. it was not so serious okay the piaf was more or less more regular but a little bit too much traveling it's in, in the passage of it is a good passage uh, it has to be, be more cadence, but I would deduct half a point for not, it's not, not it's slightly uneven, it's not really uneven. I would go to six or something, not, be, not below six, because it's too elastic. If it's permanently, but it's not really uneven. It's a little bit, I think it's a question of crookedness. It's not a really serious mistake, but still it should be more cadence. But the cadence is coming when she is strong enough to carry and be, at the moment she is, having the problem here which is reflecting somewhere. Gib mir mal deine Gerste wieder. Ja, ja. Ja, ja. She must learn to carry and, and stabilize herself in the counter. But she was much better at the end. And I think the canter is a key uh, because the canter is, gives her the chance to carry. And on the other hand, the canter is has a, um, a face where only one leg is carrying the hind leg and later it's only one front leg. So it's difficult to find the balance in canter, but that is what she can do. And she must carry and then be more independent that she can arch her neck and be independent. She is not yet that far, but I think she managed quite well. Uh, but yeah. Any more questions to other horses or are you happy? Yeah. Can you um, run through your thought processes with when you're judging the collective walk? Yeah. You know, in the pre St. George, you walk before C and then you turn. Yeah. And, you, and there's a separate collective walk mark. Yeah. Can you just run through your, like, what your, um, from the first, do you remember the first yeah, yeah. course? Um, I was just wondering, because that collective walk then, mm. what do you do when they don't make an attempt to? 
the first horse did, but that one, this one, they collected the water and didn't attempt. This um, one? Yeah. So when they don't attempt to put them together, yeah. okay, what, what do you... Well, well, in general, in general, if it's asked for a collected walk, I don't want to see medium. It, it, it's quite interesting with the walk. In the junior class, for example, we have medium walk, and, and also in the children classes. And when there is medium walk, I don't want to see extended walk, and I want to see a clear structure of the walk. It has to be, and it's not only shortening um, the steps, but it's also having the neck raised and arched. The first horse did it nicely, but still, in the moment, was a little too much behind the vertical. But in general, um, for collected walk, I want to see the neck raised and arched. And um, if you have a huge extended walk, then I accept a little overtrack, as long as the form of the horse is collected, which means shorter, the neck is raised and arched, and there is a difference. Uh, I don't look at the over only at the overtrack. Of course, if it is really shortening and there's no overtrack, it's nice. But if there's a little overtrack coming from a huge extended walk, it still can be a difference. So, but most important for the collected walk is that the neck is raised and arched and the horse really has an elevation and that the front legs are supple and yeah. And the medium walk is for the juniors, uh, which means a little lengthening of uh, the neck and a little overtracking and I don't like um, uh, junior classes when they already expect an eight because it's huge overtrade. This is meant for the extended walk. Any more questions? Any more questions? Okay. Yeah. Like just like you're talking about the walks in, but just can we, show, can show we, us yeah. the different tops. Yeah. Like okay, yeah, that's a little theoretical. Um, the question was uh, the different kinds of trots. Um, it is depending on every horse, but even if it's a, um, not fully ridden medium trot, as for medium trot, I would accept if it is a supple, clear, a little more than lengthening. It should be, it should be, it have a sort of expression, but I don't like medium trots, which are, ah. I accept, and this is our mistake that we as judges always only reward the medium trot if they are full power. And we must be happy when there's a supple, clear, with expression, but not fully ridden uh, medium trot. This is meant for the extended trot. Okay. Yeah, here was a question. Yes. What would bring it to a nine? Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, the last stride, the last stride out left a little bit. Uh, the question was with the previous horse, the inter A horse, went to get a nine and a nine and a ten. Uh, well. It's a little bit the coming in and coming out. The last stride was, I would have liked to see a little more, but it's easy for this horse to get a nine. Yeah. <laughs> or a ten. <laughs> yeah. I think uh, we are, as judges, we are always very... Mm, there, we also have to think of giving very high marks to the not so... Uh, uh, what shall I say? Spectacular movement. A period is a spectacular movement. But we should also be ready to give a 10 for a rain bag or for a walk or whatever. Normally we give it, and the public is the same, by the way. The public overlooks the walk, and sometimes um, we are low on, on not so good walks, and then they don't know why, because a horse has a tremendous trot or a super passage, whatever. And we must be willing also to give the high marks, the real high marks, to the not so spectacular movements, like a coming in and, and a canter and a so clear hold. But we tend to be more generous with the highlights, gaps, periods, extended trot, extended canter. So, but we also have to give high marks to transitions, which we not always do. Canter trot transitions, for example. So thank you to Robert. <laughs>